So GoPro came out with another GoPro, GoPro Hero 9. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dr. Saurav Sarkar and this is going to be a tech video. Uh, for people who are not interested in tech, may come for another video, but uh, I'd rather request you to stay and watch it because it might be fun and you can learn something new. Okay, so we know that the tech companies nowadays are coming up with new tech every year, updated products every year, and they don't let you enjoy the thrill of having a new phone or a new camera for even a year. Ek saal ke andar, the new model comes out and you are just left with an outdated model. The level of improvements that a company makes in its products nowadays are at the bleeding edge. There is so little uh, scope for improvement because the devices have already gotten so much better and so good at what they do. It's just an equivalent of two five-year-old kids standing on top of a wall and just comparing how far their stream of pee goes. So 2020, a great year by the way. I got the chance of owning the best, the latest and the greatest GoPro as well as the best iPhone or the latest iPhone actually. And uh, a lot of people keep asking me, what is the work of a GoPro? Why do you want a GoPro? So when the phones have become so amazing, the phone cameras are so great, can record such good video, have such amazing stabilization. I hope I can explain the benefit of having a GoPro uh, in the due course of the video. So please stay till the end of the video and watch the complete video and do hit a like button if you like the video. That's too many videos in one line. Blast, always a blast. The GoPro always starts with a blast. Okay, so they have a new fan screen. Okay, so 5K video, the previous GoPro is recorded in 4K. My GoPro Hero 8 records in 4K 60 frames per second. So I think they start, uh, introduced 5K video this time. The shots are so cool. More resolution than HD, obviously seven times more resolution than HD. For those of you who don't know, HD is 720 pixels, 720p, 1080p is full HD, 4K, which is Ultra HD, UHD, and then and now we have 5K. I don't know, most of you who are watching this video are watching it in 720p or even lesser. Uh, most of our phones just play full HD videos, that is 1080p. 4K is good. 5K, I don't know, we are reaching MKBHD levels now. We don't actually need 5K uh, videos. Basically, YouTube do doesn't even sub upload or support 5K videos, but what it helps in is like getting a good resolution in the videos and then we also have a chance to crop into the videos. Okay, 14.7 megapixel of, if you take a snapshot from a video, that is uh, what they're talking about. Okay, so uh, my GoPro or the GoPro Hero 8 record uh, rec clicks a picture up to 12 megapixels. Uh, GoPro Hero 9 records a picture in, a, in 20 megapixels. That's good. Obviously, you get more resolution, so you get more control over the image to edit or if you want to crop into an image or whatever. A bigger picture, better resolution is always welcome. That's a cool llama picture, by the way. That's Machu Picchu, if you don't know. 30% more battery life. Uh, battery is a big issue in the GoPro. These are very tiny cameras and the battery that goes in is even smaller. See, this comes into my fist. This is the GoPro Hero 8 battery, which is, uh, I think, 1220 mAh. And the newer battery that comes in the GoPro Hero 9 is 1720 mAh, which is not a big bump, but it definitely helps. You still need more than one battery. Like I have two of these. A full recording time of one to one and a half hour is the maximum that these batteries can get you out of these. And this camera has a front screen too, as we can see. More screens, exactly, dual LCD. So dual LCD helps now. Everyone is vlogging, including me. So people who want to vlog, we usually use GoPros like this any vlogging camera. So this has a front screen, which actually just gives you the data. I'll just show it to you. Okay, there's my face. It says GoPro Hero 8 Black. So it basically gives you the data of the battery, of the uh, how much space is left in the uh, memory card, 
the mode you are in, the number of videos or the shots you have taken. It just basically gives you a uh, data. And this is the actual screen. This is a touch screen. Okay, yeah. So this is our touch screen and this is just a status screen. We cannot do anything, but it obviously definitely helps if I'm holding the camera this way. I want to watch what is showing in, uh, in the frame so that I can frame it better. But this is, uh, as I said, this is also going to take a lot of battery. I'm sure there are uh, options to shut off the rear screen or the front screen. Best camera stabilization just got better. Hyper Smooth 3.0. Mine has Hyper Smooth 2.0. The stabilization in this is already amazing. It's butter smooth. And uh, it has come a long way from Hero 4 or Hero 5. I used to own a Hero 5 and the stabilization was non-existent actually. And with this, the shakes have reduced to almost nothing. Hyper Smooth 3.0. I don't know how smooth can you make a butter. built-in horizons uh, leveling uh, in our cameras till GoPro Hero 8 we could do the horizontal horizon leveling with the help of the GoPro app but it's inbuilt it helps in video editing it's basically the dynamics of the video uh, which make the video look good okay so you can see side by side hyper smooth 3.0 and on and off so it definitely is better Whoa. so finally they have a removable lens which was a huge complaint of all the users in GoPro Hero 8 so what you can see this is the lens and this is fixed in the body with the camera so if a stone hits or something happens and you break your glass here there is no way to change this you cannot take this Hero 5 Hero 6 Hero 7 had a removable lens like in the hero 9 so you can remove the lens you can replace it if it gets damaged but if a hero 8 lens gets damaged you have to ship it back to gopro and they will replace it repair it whatever this cannot be changed in hand so that is a huge advantage uh, if we have removable lens built-in mounting even my camera has built-in mounting so a gopro has a lot of mounting options. We mount it with the help of screws. The advantage of having an action camera increases many folds when you have different mounting options. There are so many options to mount it on your body, on your vehicle, on your surfboard, on your cycle, so much. The versatility of this camera makes it so good and, and way more better than a regular mobile phone. See, compatible with, with 40 plus accessories. As I was saying about the body, there are head mounts, chest mount, shoulder mount, wrist mount. Uh, you can bite it with your teeth if you are surfing or something. Surfing mount, cycle handle mounts, clip mounts, uh, car suction mounts. You can mount it on your glass. There are just so many different ways that you can shoot a video from a GoPro. It just adds on to the whole production quality of a video that you might be editing. Waterproof up to 33 feet. I think the previous GoPros were waterproof as well, up to 33 feet. Wow, the GoPro shots look, look really good. Like the tank, definitely. These tiny little cameras are so robust. They are definitely built like a tank. My, not this one, but my previous GoPro Hero 5 fell off from a car. Uh, tires have gone above it. It has fallen on a lawn. It has hit something and still it works. It There's nothing, there's no damage yet. These are scratch proof. The material is scratch proof. Uh, definitely the glasses can break. The screen can break, but I myself haven't experienced. This is way more easy to handle and you are carefree. When you are carefree, you get better shots. If you are always worried, how do I take the shot? I'm scared that my phone might fall or my camera might fall and it might get damaged. But you don't think so much in these tiny little robust things. Okay. So Max is uh, GoPro Max is GoPro's 360 degree camera, 360 camera and uh, having a mod means you can remove the lens and put a max mod. So max super view means uh, I think you will get a spherical video. 
circular video usually this is the video this video is a rectangle but if you get a uh, circular video you get a better viewing angle GoPro super view records at 177 degrees but that records in 155 degrees but 155 degrees in circular These are the GoPro mods. Wait, if you know, so or then you would know. Because I'm learning that a lot of my neighbors like to walk around their apartments naked. So. <laughs> <laughs> Time off 3.0 again. These are just minor improvements from the previous version. Power tools. Okay, so these are the new three power tools: duration, hindsight, and scheduled capture. I'll just tell you br briefly. Duration is like you can define in the settings itself that I want a recording of half an hour, one hour, 25 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. The camera will start recording, stop recording, and then shut off. Hindsight is that when you click up, uh, start recording, it will also record 30 seconds before the video uh, starts recording. Like when you click, if you click now, it has already recorded 30 seconds before and it will continue recording. So you do not miss a shot. What happens? Oh, this is so cool. I want to shoot this and I click. But by the time when I start recording, the thing has already happened. But this does not happen in hindsight. It records a 30 second video clip before the time that you click record. But this is also going to take a lot of uh, battery because practically your camera is already recording when you don't play record. Schedule capture, you can schedule a, an alarm or a sort of a thing that I want to record the sunrise at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. The camera will start uh, recording on that particular time. See, that is it. I just knocked the book off on my shoulder. More resolution, more battery, more everything. Okay, so what do we know? GoPro Hero 9, new front lens new front screen which is uh, I was really happy when DJI Osmo Action came up with that now GoPro Hero 9 al already has it it records in 5k bigger battery supports a max lens a little more versatile shots other than that it's almost the same so if you have the Hero 7 or the Hero 8 I don't think you need to buy the Hero 9 but if you are one of the Hero 5 or Hero 6 owners then you should you can get a Hero 9 or actually what happens when the Hero 9 comes back, comes into the Indian market or any market as such, the prices of Hero 7 and Hero 8 will start falling. So if you want a budget friendly action camera, I think when the Hero 9 comes to the market, you should actually go for the Hero 8 because currently the Hero 8 is around 35,000 rupees in India. Uh, and uh, by the time the Hero 9 comes, I think it will fall back to 30 or 27,000 as it has happened in the earlier years. Yeah, definitely it's a good camera. Yes, definitely I'm disappointed. I am a GoPro user for a very long time. I purchased my first GoPro Hero 5 in, back in 2017. It got launched in 2016. And you can go to my Instagram to look at a lot of pictures from GoPro and uh, tell me if you want to see more. I would love to show you a little more pictures which are crazy uh, if you have any more questions regarding the new gopro or the old gopros or how to work around them please post them down in the comment section i would love to answer them i hope you like this video if you did please hit the like button please share it with a friend who might want to know about the gopros if you like my content then please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll see you in the next video hey guys don't go by the title of this video i actually love gopro and stand by their products I absolutely love what they are doing with their cameras. Uh, this link is actually being recorded by the GoPro and I'll transfer it by the GoPro app. And go check out my description and follow the Instagram links. And uh, if you want to shop, I'll give the best buy links in the description box. Do buy the GoPro if you want from those particular links. It'll just help my channel grow a little bit by the kickback I get from your purchase. Bye.